My name is Andrew Murray. I'm the Director of Performance and Sports Science uh, at the University of Oregon and operate at here out of the Marcus Mariota Sports Performance Centre. Part of the process, if you like, of how you decide to interact or make an impact with sports always starts with a performance question or a coach. What's the need? What's the, the area you want to work on? And so for us across two sports, uh, foot pain, shall we say, or foot injuries was a highly prevalent injury in both football and basketball, more than we'd expect in terms of this population. The, the foot is probably the, the most important part in, in basketball. It's one of the two things that touches the ground, right? And uh, other than your hands that direct the ball, it's the part of your body that allows you to transmit force to the floor to then propel yourself in a different motion. You might fake a guy with your shoulders, but it all starts in your feet, whether you're taking a three-point shot, uh, a dribble, whatever it might be. And so if you have pain or a fracture in your foot, that compromises your ability to move and therefore your ability to be an athlete. So with this case specifically with Dylan, and obviously he was coming back from, a, from an operation, and it was something we had to manage, uh, that process. You know, Post-surgery, there's a, a team around the athlete that, that works on that return to play plan. Uh, there's certain phases of that where responsibility lies. The surgeon might dictate the first couple of weeks and then they're going to start working with the athletic trainer and then that's going to move through and working with the, the conditioner or the, the strength staff within the sport before finally they're back with the technical coach. And at every point along there, there's probably defined checks and balances for progression. And so what we were able to add to that process from here with the technology was those, just that, those checkpoints. So levering some of the force plate technology some of the, the motion capture pieces to look at how Dylan generated force, where those forces went through his foot, uh, how the injured side compared to the non-injured side, uh, and also to get him back moving it and conditioning a little bit quicker than he might be. Taking a cut and, and running away from the uh, gravity plate was really hard. Like the, I think it was a straight on and then cut straight to the left like an L cut, I guess. And then once we started uh, putting up the speed on the Alter G, I was kind of getting real tired. Uh, yeah, those things, even though that you're hurt and even though you, you know, can't put much pressure on your foot or pressure on any, you know, injured part of your body, like this facility finds ways to, you know, keep you, I guess, uh, in shape uh, to the best of your ability in that situation. And, uh, and it gives you the information to know that, you know, you are getting better and, and feeling more confident. I came back pretty quick uh, from the injury. Uh, they thought I was going to be back for you know the Pac-12, but you know I came back in like the middle of uh, non-conference in Hawaii. So this, uh, I have to say, this building has been a blessing for sure.